Hello and welcome to Total Network Inventory Tutorials and Examples. This video will help you understand the resident agent and its functionality. The main purpose of TNI is to scan networks and collect data about devices located in them. But sometimes situations arise when remote computers are outside the local network or are temporarily connected to scanned networks. In this case, using a resident agent is the most appropriate data collection option. This type of scanning is the transfer and deployment of an agent file on a remote device. Then the agent, according to the specified settings, collects information and sends the scan results to the specified server, from which you can later import data into the main program module. The advantages of a resident agent are low load on the network and the main program module, flexible configuration settings using profiles, and the ability to obtain information about devices that are unavailable. Now let's see how the resident agent is configured and installed on remote devices. The agent can be installed in two ways from the TNI's main module by scanning the network and deploying agents on devices automatically, or by configuring the agent and then manually exporting it to devices. Let's take a look at the main deployment method using TNI. Before installing and configuring agents, you first need to create a data transfer method. This is necessary so that the agent can send scan results to the specified resource from which TNI can then import the transfer data. The created data transfer method can also be used to automatically export the updated agent file and its profiles to the specified resource. If you do not set this method and do not specify it when configuring the agent, then the scan results will be collected in the local directory with the agent. Switch to data transfer creation and management mode and add a new method. Select a protocol from the list and fill in all the information required to establish a connection. You can choose any method, depending on what you prefer to use or the settings of your network environment. To verify that the created method works, test the connection using the corresponding button. After specifying all the data, save the current changes. Let's now return to the further setup of the agent. You can see that the resident agent has profiles in the bottom panel. Profiles are agent operating modes that can be configured individually and applied to one specific device or group of devices. You can use the current default profile and create your own profile based on it, or copy it, continuing further creation. However, for now, as an example, we will create a new profile with all the settings we need. In the opened window, enter a name for a profile and select the previously created data transfer method that will be used to automatically export the current profile and agent file updates. Then go directly to the agent's profile settings. This window displays all the settings required for the agent operation. Using the available options, you can specify the following functionality. Set the agent to perform scanning immediately after it's installed on the remote device. It will be convenient to check if the scan results are sent by the previously created data transfer method. Perform a scan at each system boot. Overwrite the device file with scan results, which will help to avoid the accumulation of scan files if the device is offline for a long time. Specify a network resource from which the agent will download updates and new settings. If you use the option to automatically export the agent profile from the previous window, it is recommended that you specify the same resource in the current setting. This will allow you to avoid manually copying the updated agent files. Then you can select the previously created data transfer method that will be used to send the scan results. Or select the option to restrict simultaneous access of agents to the server. For example, if you have a large number of agents with the same data sending time, then the current setting will avoid the load on the local network and the receiving server. The rest of the scan settings you can select as needed. Let's enter the data we need for this profile. 
To do this, select the required options and enter the path from where the agent will download updates or changes to the profile. Next, we will specify the previously created data transfer method where the resident agent will send the scanned results and mark the data saving option, in which the results will be saved after sending. After specifying all the settings, let's switch to the agent's work scheduling mode. Here you can set an unlimited number of individual schedules for scanning tasks, sending data, and updating the agent. If the option that allows to automatically scan at the system startup was not activated in the previous step, then at least one scheduled scan task must be created to receive inventory results. The data will be sent as soon as it is completed. If a remote device has communication problems, a network resource is not available, or there are other reasons why the agent cannot send information, then you can create tasks for the agent to retry sending data at a specified time. You can also schedule tasks to check for updates to settings in the agent version. Note that if these tasks were not created manually, the agent will use the default schedule of sending data every hour and checking for updates every four hours. If you want to collect data statistics from equipment sensors, then activate the appropriate option and select the location and type of sensors. Now let's start the process of installing a resident agent in our network. If you have several previously created profiles, then select the required profile for each device in the task. It's important to note that after successful deployment of agents on computers, these devices will not be displayed in the network tree if they have not already been added to the storage earlier. Data on computers in the network tree will appear only after importing the scan results by agents. The agents are installed, and now we need to configure automatic data import so that the results of all scans from agents are displayed in TNI. To do this, create the appropriate task in the program scheduler. The task will be completed according to the scheduled task, or you can start it immediately by using the corresponding button in the scheduler menu. As soon as the import task is completed, all results of remote device scans will be transferred to the program and displayed in the network tree. All information will be updated. By going to the Agent Statuses tab in the Details panel, you can see all the agent statuses on the devices. Currently active profile, when the devices were last scanned, and a hint as to whether the deployed agent needs to be updated. If you want to change the agent profile on any of the existing devices, then use the context menu and select the profile you're interested in. When changing a profile, TNI will notify you that the data has been changed and offer to deploy the updated profile to the device again. And lastly, if the profiles have not been configured to automatically export data for updating resident agents, then you can manually upload these files using the corresponding export button on the panel. Next, you will only have to copy the files to a network resource, from which the deployed agents will be auto-updated. If you'd like to get more information about working with a resident agent, please visit our online documentation. Thank you for watching.